Hi, I'm Bruce, and just over a year ago we began our homesteading journey. This week I finished the roundwood timber frame lean-to for our firewood, while the girls harvest more from the garden. I think it came out pretty good in the end. Let me know what you think. And if you're new here, it'd be pretty great if you could subscribe and become part of our ever-growing community. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, this week is going to be sort of trying to sort all sorts of odds and ends out, but the main thing of this vlog I guess will be trying to get this roundwood lean-to up and ready for our turf and firewood to go in. I was hoping to be all firewood this year, but I've just been too busy with everything else to get enough wood in for this year. But next year will be our year, I think. So yeah, right now I've just got to strip some logs uh, ready to put up on these bloodstones. So while I'm doing the mind-numbing task of stripping all the bark off these logs, which definitely takes a lot longer than I thought it would, should have remembered from last time really, Annie and Betsy are harvesting some spuds and they're getting some crackers. Let's go and have a look and see what they're doing. What you got, Babs? Potato. Look at the size of that. Hold it next to your head. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go off and finish stripping those logs and uh, I think Anne and the girls are going to make a delicious dinner with these potatoes. So we've got onions and garlic from our garden, potatoes from our garden, peas from our garden. Lovely. And meat-free Denny sausages. Not from, Not from our garden. Not from our garden Not from our garden. But... Um, Copper and Rascal will be pleased to know that none of their brothers or sisters have been chucked into them sausages. Yeah, they will. <laughs> well, I'll just tell them we'll see them tomorrow. No. Come on. See you tomorrow. Right, back out on the lean-to now. Another fine day. I think now I am going to pick the bendiest logs for the uprights and the straightest logs for a cross, just to make leveling the rafters easier and uh, yeah, start shaping the bottoms of these poles so that they can have a post bracket bottom to them. Should enjoy the groups of life. 
My roof isn't level. So do I make this level and be completely out of line with the roof? Or do I just follow that? Yeah. Alright, I think that's as far as I'm going to film today. I'll wreck my head around my unlevel building and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So, I fixed that board after signing off last night and I've decided, rightly or wrongly, to just go with the level of the building. It's not kind of that far out but it would be far enough that if I leveled the boards there'd be a big gap at one end because it's spanning over such a long distance. So yeah, I don't think we'll notice as it's all out of wibbly wobbly wood anyway. So I'll get cracking with that. So I've made a mistake, first one so far since this build, so that's an improvement on my other projects. Uh, basically I've made, I measured the right measurement and for whatever reason cut the wrong one. So the whole measuring twice I got right but still cut it wrong. Uh, so it's actually short about two inches. So I'm going to try and shuffle a bit out of each end and see if it will pull in maybe the last inch and see what it looks like because really I want the laps over the top of the post so wish me luck
So as you can see, I've got varying sizes of timber to use, um, which isn't actually the worst thing because with the kind of wany, wiggly bits of wood, um, I pinged a straight line all the way down from side to side. And you can see bits that are slightly low and some bits that are slightly high. So I'm kind of mixing and matching my four inch, my six inch timbers, four inch on the high spots, six inch on the low spots, and hopefully I'll make it good. Right, so that is the majority of the frame done and all framed for the roof. I got the tin out ready, um, but before I climb onto the roof, um, I think that it's going to be best that I get all the wind braces put onto this. And that is a job for tomorrow because it's a little bit involved, the method that I'm going to use. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh my god, another beautiful day. Finding myself getting used to this weather. It's dangerous, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to be getting on with doing the wind braces on this lean-to now. And I uh, feel a bit silly actually because all of the poles I had were long enough that if I'd have left them all at height, I could have got my wind braces from that. But the first one I put up, I didn't. So luckily I've got a piece of cypress cedar around the back of the shed so I can make the missing one out of that. It's cool. Right, that's all of the wind braces in place now, fixed, so nice and solid. Um, tomorrow, I guess I'll be putting the roof on. And I haven't decided what I'm doing walls-wise, but it'll be ready to store some stuff under anyway. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right, guys, it's time to put a roof on this lean-to. I actually think it's a bit of a shame that the kids' trampoline's in the way, because I think it's actually going to look quite nice. But I also like to see the kids bouncing on the trampoline through the kitchen window, so compromise, I guess. Anyway, let's get cracking.
So whilst I'm doing the roof, Annie and the girls are harvesting parsnips. Look at that, I got the fat ones and the long ones. We found a chick and a mouse. Yeah. But we didn't find the chick. McTap found the chick and I saw the chick. But we were looking for ages, but we couldn't find it. So, oh, so impressed. Yeah, look at them. Um, I'm going to blanch them so we can freeze them so that our Christmas dinner this year will have a lot of our own food. Anyway, back on with the roof now. <laughs> oh, she's getting you good now, but... <laughs> Not sure what happened there, my camera stopped recording for whatever reason. But anyway, the roof is on now and I've just cut um, the edge of the roof ready for gutters to go on when I get them. So we can have an IBC that, fill, uh, that feeds the polytunnel. Anyway, it's pretty late, so I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you everything up close. Right, so that is the lean to finished anyway, as far as I'm going to be taking it for now. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. I think it's very pretty. What's happened? Oh, yeah, there's a kitten in our polytunnel. That's never a good combination, as they love to see it as a huge litter tray, heated. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Also, a massive thanks to Hannah and Justin for the timber used in the roof, you legends.